guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl that girl Tony come right at ya and for my title we're talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League like director's court 2021 version different from 2017 version you know what i mean so my review we're talking about the differences as well as the similarities from these two movies but before we go into the old story and into the old differences as well as the similarities let's go to the reasons why we see similar scenes in 2017 version as well as 2021 version okay so let's go So movie productions for Justice League 2017 actually started 2015, 2016. They've introduced their cast, you know, and all that with two directors, Zack Snyder as well as Josh Whedon. Yes, Whedon, W-H-E-D-O-N. But then Zack and his wife inclusive, they both had to drop out from the movie because they lost their daughter. She committed so they had to drop down for the movie they tried to distract themselves by making the movie but it was not possible for them so they had to do with their families and so they had to both drop down this is the reason why the 2017 version was kind of like well it didn't really meet people's expectation that immediately the movie got out and people saw it they criticized the movie and there was this campaign going on hashtag release snyder's cut and this was actually made possible when snyder actually told us that his own cut is actually available and it was released thanks to Warner Bros and thanks to other production companies that actually made it possible so guys let's go into the similarities and differences and since you know the backstory why 2017 was a flop we all understand and we all love that this campaign was actually you know this campaign actually happened but let's go into the similarities and differences The similarities I can pick from the two movies is one, the same cast, just the same set of people, but they were introductions of, you know, new cast, and that will be said in the differences. As well as the scripts, the scripts too were the same, but just that, there were some added lines, added scripts to it, like, added. Thankfully, Snyder dropped out because we won't see the beautiful masterpiece he actually created for us, like, we won't see it. So now, let's go to the differences. difference i can actually see from the movie number one thing i just just pick is the aspect ratio of the movie itself okay so most movies i see they are in 60 ratio 9 but this aspect ratio is actually a square kind like 1.33 ratio wonder about like i was trying to increase size i was thinking it was me that was not watching the movie in the correct way or correct manner. i compressed it or i shrunk it or something but that's actually the ideal aspect ratio that i use for that movie. and i noticed that once you use a square screen for a movie the main cast or the main character in that um screen will actually be, actually be the most dominant like taking dominant so it actually proved when i saw stephen wolf it, in that square screen it actually made me see him in that square scene like it was the dominant person in that square scene so it makes people stand out number two thing is the color grading okay so um i love using saturations for my videos but not too much but the 2017 version the saturation for me was just too much like atmosphere it's actually like a fight scene atmosphere but the atmosphere was looking too you know beautiful for a fight scene but i just love Zack snyder's fashion of his own he didn't really use too much saturation it actually bought in the dark side of it because the movie they actually fought and it's actually rated her because of the violence and you know the language that it was said so i just love the fact that the color grading to me i like you know dark same color gradings compared to the first justice league so Zack snyder's one was actually very i really embraced that a lot three difference is the divisions of them okay so the first movie is actually not divided but this other one is divided into six parts and an epilogue and each part actually being or each title Parts actually being said in the movie. For example, part one is Don't Count on a Batman, and this is when Batman is trying to recruit Aquaman to join his team now to fight these forces of evil. But then Aquaman said, Don't Count on a Batman. And so this parts actually lead to stories that have been said in, in the movie. And this is why I actually loved Zack part because come on you only divide movies into parts and then you see that okay fine i can understand this movie based on the parts i can understand the story based on the parts and you're like wow but the 2017 version was not divided into parts no so just there just plain but then this is where i'll get to my next difference which is the time length of the movie so zach movie everybody knows this is four hours long like four hours because even that four hours long is making people not to see it but 
no you actually have to see because it's a cut it actually has some parts that were not included in the first movie and the first movie only ran for 120 minutes that is almost two hours that means two hours of the second movie was not present in the first movie that means a lot of things a lot of stories have been missed and this one i enter my fifth difference which is the backstory okay hands down to zack snyder for giving us backstories to all superheroes and for making us understand what it actually meant because from this just you actually understand their sequel for example aquaman was introduced in this justice league and then i could see how he got his trident and his armor it is actually his mother's trident i actually had a lot of interaction with the atlatians like there were a lot of interaction with them but in the first movie it was not seen as that another person too also saw that okay this backstory was there was with barry Ireland iris west iris west actually the love interest of flash and then she was actually present in the movie and i was like okay wow these backstories are making me understand that okay these are where or let's say these are the origins of these superheroes another backstory is wonder woman which is actually her trying to you know go back or reconnect to her people trying to just reconnect but since they've done wonder woman 1984 there might be a possible wonder woman 2 which i know she, because wonder woman i told like a prequel to wonder woman 2 so just you know our connection and our separation from our people and also batman backstory too is actually feeling this grief and actually feeling this sadness because is kind of like sad over Superman's death. But the one major person I really loved the backstory that was introduced in this Justice League was Cyborg's backstory. No, hands down, Cyborg's backstory. When I do in comics, I'll actually explain in details, but expecting more details in you know the first Justice League of 2017. But then seeing his backstory, seeing understanding how it all came to be, his mother, his father, and also his his father also being like a father figure or like a scientist who actually helped them to be who he is today actually shows okay this is where and again in the first movie it was actually shown like an emotional being they didn't really show the reason why he actually had to do what he had to do but then in this new one actually so okay this is the reason why because his father sacrificed himself the scene of his father sacrificing himself was not included in the first one and i'm like why did josh read stone why did he edit those parts like why did you edit those parts like why and i'm very sure all those kind of backstories when our bros want to see it in their movies but i don't know why you actually you know remove them from the movie another difference for me is steppenwolf's design it was introduced in batman vs superman that was done of justice as you know the normal design having this you know on on his head and you know alien ish kind of body but in 2017 version it, it was redesigned to actually look humanly kind of it actually had this human film but i love zack snyder's part like he really made stephen wolf look very you know evil because in the first one it was looking like as if it was gentle it cannot utter fly like even the voice was not intimidating but in this version his voice is really really intimidating and i love zack snyder for that another difference is the russian family um notice toward the end of the first uh justice league which is 2017 the russian family that was there that Brianna was trying to save was actually not included in the 2021 version instead barry Harlan was actually trying to make a charge in order to power cyborg in order to diffuse the mother boxes it was giving a more better role to play other than saving it's good to save people but you know yeah that difference is the reshoot like additional reshoots I was not expecting to see Joker. Like I was like, what is Joker doing here? Then that was when Batman was having this kind of, you know, nightmare. Another difference is the introduction of DC cast. As I know, I said before my similarity that the cast are the same, but then the introduction of cast. Okay, so introduction of Dark said, introduction of you know they said, introduction of um, Iris West, introduction of different characters, introduction of Martian Manhunter or something. Yes, that is him. Introduction of different people like that actually made the movie more interesting because we actually know the okay This is who Stephen was actually working for and this is what the movie is all about which is going to lead me to The history so when Wonder Woman was telling Batman the history of you know the murder boxes and how they were on earth and how um, the forces of men as well as the Atl Atlanteans, as well as the Amazons came together in order to protect Earth actually made sense because in the first movie, it was only Stephen Wolf that was just 
present but now i'm seeing direction of dark said himself as well as his people and that actually explains more so the issue actually explained more in details i understood okay this is who stephen wolf was working for and this for well, the history said by wonder woman in this new version was actually well detailed and well explained another difference is the black superman suit okay so when I brought in 2017, did not want Superman, that is Henry Cavill, to actually wear the black Superman suit. But Zack Snyder wanted, he just loved dark things, like, you know, dark humor, dark everything. So he wanted Superman to actually wear this, you know, dark suit, but was not accepted. But thankfully, it was accepted in this version. Last but not the least of the differences is the battle scene okay the battle scene was drastically different we should put the battle scene side by side they are totally totally different though they have the fusion of the motherboard together like together like really fusing fusing but i think in the 2017 it didn't really fuse completely but out of the 2021 it fused completely i was thinking all was lost till uh, waiting for flash injury to heal and then it actually saved you know he charged himself prepared himself touched cyborg and you know I just love the old backstory. I just love watching movies that they are backstory. Like I said before in my previous review to come to America, I love when uh, a movie actually shows me references. Like actually see, okay, this movie is leading to this. So all DC fans out there, this is one movie I know I would like after Aquaman. Anything. I love DC cartoons, but I'm, but I love Marvel movies. I'm a Marvel fan, but DC fans, I love this one because it actually explains to me backstories of the superheroes why they are this and why they are that and also from this just it led to sequels for example aquaman in 20 let's say the movie is a 2017 movie and then aquaman happened in 2018 so it led to a sequel to aquaman happening and i'm very sure possibly there will be sequels of, of um you know cyborg or a follow-up story to flash and you know other spirals like that but anyway guys this is my review on justice league basically not really a review but my differences but really i love 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 this version of justice league the first version was a flop sorry to say so i love 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 this version so this is my review on justice league Zack snyder's cut it's just telling you the differences basically from the first one or from the you know justice league version to snyder's version so guys please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and please check the description box for my other videos as well as links to my you know, social media accounts and please like share subscribe and i'm seeing you guys in the next video